Good morning, class. Welcome again to Mathematics Year 2 with me, Madam Audrey. We are still at the topic of money. Previously, we learned how to recognize money. Today, we are going to learn the value of money. The content standards for today, 4.1.2. Determine the value of money up to 100 ringgit. Before we proceed, let's revise the money we have learned from the previous lesson. Remember all the coins and notes? This is 5 cents. This is 10 cents. This one, 20 cents. How about this? 50 cents. Now we look at the notes. One ringgit. Two ringgit. Five ringgit. Remember all the colors, yeah? The red note, ten ringgit. The orange note, twenty ringgit. This one, the dark green notes, fifty ringgit. This is 100 ringgit. Okay, we are going to look at the value of money. This is easy, right? 50 ringgit. 50 ringgit if you represent in abacus. It looks like this. Okay, five, zero, zero, zero. Not 5,000, yeah? Is, you see the dot? Okay, you put the dot here. So it's five, zero, point, zero, zero. 50 ringgit. When you represent 50 ringgit in abacus, you use four rows How about this wow so we have 20 ringgit notes and we have some coins let's count the coins okay 50 cent 60 cent 70 cent 80 cent 90 cent. So it's 20 ringgit and 90 cent. Okay, you write it like this, yeah? 20 ringgit and 90 cent. In abacus, it's represented like this. Okay, the, we use four rows, right? The first row on the left. 2, then it's 0, remember the point, you have to put a point there, then this one is 9, 0, so remember the point, uh, the point separates the ringgit and the sand, point itu, dia membahagikan ringgit dan sand, so this is how you represent 20 ringgit, and 90 cent. Remember how to write it as well. Wow, so many notes. Let's count. This one is 20 ringgit plus 10 ringgit becomes 30 ringgit. 
plus 5 becomes 35 ringgit. Okay, we have 2 ringgit. Okay, 2 notes of 1 ringgit. So it's 2 ringgit becomes 37 ringgit. We have done counting the notes. Now left the coin. Coin, we only have 1, which is 50 cent. So we add it in, becomes 37 ringgit and 50 cent. We write it like this, yeah, 37 ringgit and 50 cent. Make sure to get your spelling correctly. 37 ringgit and 50 cent. If we represent it in abacus, it will look like this. Okay, remember four rows, two rows on the left for ringgit. Two rows on the right for cent. The first row for ringgit must be three. Then followed by seven, five, and zero. Remember the dot? This dot is to separate between the ringgit and cent. Good job! Okay, this is a hundred ringgit. One piece of the purple notes is one hundred ringgit. If I give you two dark green one, the dark green one is fifty ringgit, right? If there's two, fifty plus fifty is also one hundred ringgit. It's the same, right? How about this? There are how many? There are, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 pieces of 10 ringgit notes. How much altogether? Also 100 ringgit. Same right. 10 keping, 10 ringgit bersamaan dengan 100 ringgit juga. Okay, so if for 5 ringgits, how many pieces you need to be same with 100 ringgit? You need 20 pieces. 20 keping 5 ringgit sama dengan 100 ringgit juga. How about for 1 ringgit? How many pieces of 1 ringgit same with 100 ringgit? You need 100 pieces. 100 keping 1 ringgit sama juga dengan 100 ringgit. Up next, we look at this. 150 ringgit notes and 110 ringgit notes. How many? 60 ringgit, right? And another 50 cent. So it's 60 ringgit and 50 cent. What if I have 3 20 ringgit notes? 20 plus 20 plus 20 is also 60 ringgit. With 2 20 cent and 1 10 cent, also 50 cent. So this is also 60 ringgit and 50 cent. How about like this? 120 ringgit notes and 4 10 ringgit notes. 60 ringgit as well, right? And if I have 5 10 cent coins, it's also 50 cent. 
So it's also 60 ringgit and 50 sen. If I have 150 ringgit notes with two 5 ringgit notes, how much would that be? 60 ringgit, right? And if I plus one more 50 sen coin, same, 60 ringgit and 50 sen. So you see, you can use different notes to make the same value. Boleh guna uang kertas yang berbeza-beza tapi mendapatkan nilai uang yang sama. Ada empat kumpulan, right? Four groups, four different groups of money. But all has the same value. 60 ringgit and 50 sen. I hope you understand what's the value of money. Okay, 100 ringgit can be represented in one 100 ringgit notes or two 50 ringgit notes or 10 pieces of 10 ringgit notes. Exercise for today. Complete page 104 in your mathematics year 2 activity book. Thank you class and I see you again on the next session. Goodbye.